Welcome to demonstration video of performing contingency analysis using PSSE. Now, in this video, we are going to learn how to perform contingency analysis. Uh, so, for the purpose of performing contingency analysis, the first thing you have to do is you need to create three kind of files. Uh, so, what were these files which we discussed in our lecture as well? These files are number one, you need to create a sub file. Then you have to create a monitoring file and then you have to create a contingency file. So let us see how we can create this. So before uh, creating these files, the first step is to have a uh, well solved uh, base case, right? So in order to uh, get a solved case, uh, base case, so prepare your base case and just open the case. So for this purpose, I am using IEEE 9 bus system. So just let me go ahead and open my case. So I'll just go to open. From open, I'm going to browse to the location where I have my case. So here is my case. This is my base case. And then I'll open the SLD as well. Because my case was made in version 32. Now I am implementing uh, my PSSE in version 33. So that's why it asked me that uh, should I upgrade my SLD file or do I want to keep the same settings which I had for version 32. Nothing more than this. So this is my case. So in this case, if you'll see, I have uh, three uh, generators at bus number one. Uh, bus number two and bus number three and then this is a nine bus system and there's some uh, power flowing from uh, one part of the system to other part of the system so what i want to do is i want to perform this uh, contingency analysis for this particular system so prior to performing contingency analysis just let us solve the uh, load flow in order to see if uh, everything is intact my system is okay uh, so for this purpose i'll just go to my solution using fixed one we have already discussed all these things once i solve i close so i have no mismatch within my system my system is mm, well established everything is well within limits everything seems to be okay so now what i can do is i can perform contingency analysis so let us create the files uh, for this uh, contingency analysis so for preparing the file we'll go to power flow within power flow uh, you are going to find this linear network this linear network may be available uh, uh, in version 33 here for version 32 if you cannot find the linear network as a separate just try to look in the solution so you may find this linear network here if it is not available as a separate so from the linear network what you have to do is you will see this third option which says create modify sub mon and con configuration files so this is exactly what i want to do so i will click on this so now you see I have this option available so what I want to do with this particular option I want to create the files so for this instance my uh, I want to create all the three files sub mon and con for this purpose what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this all these three options checked but if you are if you are creating uh, only one or two files or one particular file then uh, you can uh, use uh, whichever uh, combination you want or uh, whichever um, option you want so in my case i'm uh, creating all the three files so i will just keep in these three uh, check then i have this append subsystem description to existing file so this option is uh, used where you have an or already existing uh, subsystem data file and you want to add something additional into this file for me uh, we are starting from scratch and we want to uh, uh, perform contingency analysis from the scratch so what I'm going to do is for this purpose I'm going to keep this unchecked so most of the time you'll be performing the contingency analysis from the scratch so you will have to keep this uh, condition unchecked uh, so once you are done with this now we need to select the name of our subsystem this is totally up to you uh, you can give whatever na uh, name you want so in my case so I have this uh, let me give this I triple E or let's say So what I am doing is basically I am trying to select my whole system. So I want to perform contingency uh, analysis for my whole system. So I gave this subsystem name whole system. So let's say if you have a system consisting of three or four operating areas, what you can do is you can select uh, if you want to perform contingency analysis for one particular area, you can name it as this is totally up to you. This is just the name. 
so once i select this uh, system name then i have to select the system in this particular case i have two operating areas so uh, for because i want to perform the contingency analysis for my whole system so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select whole both so this is my then you can select based on owner you can select based on zones you can select based on your voltage level if you want to perform contingency as for a uh, few buses particular buses this is totally up to you for so just to show you i'm performing contingency contingency analysis for the whole system that's why i selected both area one and area two once i've selected my areas i will press ok and now i need to give the file name so let us give the file name i triple e nine just and this is totally up to you whatever file name you want to give so i'm giving this ieee 9 just so that um, i mean is, it is easy for me and then the next option is to select the monitored element now do we have an existing file from where we are monitoring the elements or do we want to create a new file so for in this particular case we will be creating a new file so we will make this option of append unchecked so that we create a new file from the scratch so what do i want to select in my you know, file do i want to check only the voltage range do i want to check voltage deviation do i want to check load flows uh, so this is totally up to you now what is the difference between the voltage range and the voltage deviation voltage range is your particular range it is going to tell you what was your um, uh, voltages in your system once this kind of contingency happened so this is something like uh, your it is just checking the voltage range so there is an additional option of voltage deviation so what is this deviation going to do for instance your voltages were one per unit and after the contingency your voltages drop to say 0.5 or 0.95 per unit so at an instant what did you had you had this voltage change of 5% so it's a huge change right so if you want to i mean check your system for a huge voltage change this huge huge voltage change is going to tell you that in uh, transient stability you may have some problem uh, you may expect some problem because the voltage change is more so if you want to check this voltage change you can have this option selected so for uh, here uh because in my contingency case it says my grid code criteria says or pakistan grid code criteria says or any other grid code criteria says that during contingency your voltages should remain within plus minus 10 percent right yeah. so i want to check my case against plus minus 10 percent of voltage range so i will make v min 0.9 similarly v max 1.1 and i'm checking the flows as well by the flow i mean the megawatt value the megawatt values the mva value the total mva passing through each transmission line so we have already given this rate a and rate b and rate c for each transmission line right so what pssc is going to do is after performing the analysis it is going to see how much mva was there on a particular line before contingency and what is the mva of flow on the line after contingency so it is going to tell you that this much margin you have available so this is something like this now i need to give the file name again i'm going to go here so i'm selecting the same i triple e 9 and if you observe here now the extension in this particular case is dot mon so the file name is going to be i triple e 9 dot mon before uh, for the subsystem my fi uh, file name was again i triple e 9 but the extension was dot sub because i was creating a subsystem here i'm creating a monitoring element so the extension is mon so once i press save my file name is selected now the third thing is what kind of contingencies do i want to create do i have an existing contingency file and i want to top up this file with new contingencies or i am creating a contingency from the scratch so in in this case i am since i am creating my contingencies from the scratch so what I, I am going to do is i am going to unselect this option i do not want to append i want to create a new file and here it is what kind of contingencies i want to perform you can have multiple contingencies here in this case i have uh, 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 the options available for single contingency single contingency means outage of one equipment within your system so now what is uh, pssc going to do is pssc is going to take this system in this system it is going to take each line and transformer in your system 
switch off that particular transmission line, perform the load flow analysis, save the results, then go to next transmission line, switch off that transmission line, again perform the load flow and uh, save the result. So now instead of performing this multiple load flow analysis by yourself, PSSC is making your life easy. So if you want a single contingency, single contingency means one equipment at a time. Double contingencies mean uh, two equipment at a time. And when I say double contingency, double contingency means two equipment. So it is going to take the every possible option there is available. For instance, in this case, you will see that you have a transmission line here and you have a transformer. So double contingency can be outage of this transformer plus this transmission line. Similarly, another double contingency can be outage of this transmission line plus this transmission line. Similarly, another uh, possibility can be outage of this transmission line plus this transmission line. But in reality, this is not the case. I mean, this is one of the extreme case. So we are not going to take this case. Then we have this bus double contingency. So what do I mean by bus double contingency? By bus double contingency, I mean, I have a starting bus. For instance, in, if in this case, you see this bus four. So, bus 4 has two transmission lines, one going to bus 5 and one going to bus 6. So, when I say bus double contingency, here my source or starting point of two transmission line is same. So, what PSSC is going to do? PSSC is going to see that for each particular transmission line, are there two lines available? Are there two lines going out of this bus? So, it is going to take the combination of all these two lines. So, this is my bus double contingencies. Two equipments coming out of the uh, same bus. Whereas, parallel circuit contingency is that my starting end and my, the, and my receiving end should have a parallel line. By parallel line, I mean it should have two lines uh, starting from the same source and going to the same destination. So, this is the difference between the two. So, here I do not want to perform this. I do not want to perform this. Yes, I want to include tie line because I have two operating areas here, area 1 and area 2. So, any transmission line which exists between area 1 and area 2 is going to be known as the tie line. So, I want to perform the contingency analysis for the tie line as well. So, that is why I am selecting this option. Now, I want to give the name of the file. So, Again, I triple E nine, and again, if you observe here, this time my file name is static dot con. So my extension will be con. So this is going to tell PSSC general. Okay, my file I triple E nine dot sub was my subsystem file. Dot mon was my monitoring file, and dot con is my contingency file. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to press save. And the next step will be, so I have given the name of all the three files, uh, the type of options I want for each particular file, I have given this. So the last step to perform here is to press go. So as soon as I press go, PSSE is going to create these three files. So when I press go, just observe that uh, your output bar. And within the output bar, you are going to see configuration files created. So now... Uh, go back to your original lecture uh, where we discussed once you have created these files the next step is to create a distribution factor file or defects file so now i have these three files available next step will be to create a distribution factor file how do i create this file i can do by simply clicking on defects from here so this is one option you are directly open here if you cannot find this option here or, or due to some reason you just press close after creating this files don't worry what you can do is you can go to power flow you can go to linear network within linear network you have this option build distribution factor data file click on this if you will go from this uh, creation of subcon mon page the subcon and mon file will be automatically selected right but if you go from outside you will not have these files uh, uh, selected so you have to you will have to select these files individually so we can do that we will browse so it goes to the location where my pssc uh, my pssc safe case is available i have all these files within the same so my first file is sub file i open this file again i'll go to mon file double click this is selected con file double click this is selected now what do i want to do 
डू आई वॉन्ट टू सॉर्ट द एलिमेंट फॉर अपलोटिंग यस आई वॉन्ट टू सो आई वट बेसिकली आई वॉन्ट टू सी इज डेट विच ऑफ माई कंटीजेंसी इज माई मोस्ट वेयर कंटीजेंसी सो ट्राई टू सॉर्ट आउट द कंटीजेंसी फॉर मी सो डेट माई रिजल्ट बिकम इजी फॉर मी टू व्यू सो दिस इज एक्जैक्टली वट आई वॉन्ट माई पी एस एस सी टू डू सो डू आई वॉन्ट टू मॉनिटर आउट ऑफ सर्विस लाइन्स once our transmission line is out of service why do i want to monitor this line so this is totally up to you maybe in uh, one particular condition you have this line out but in some case you have this line in so it totally depends on you what do you want to do with this so in my case i am uh, keeping this unchecked and do i want to prepare this file for the ac analysis or the dc analysis if you remember from my lecture uh what we said we said that uh, the a uh, good way to perform on uh, the planning studies is to initially perform your dc contingency analysis so that you can shorten out the number of contingencies to be performed by the ac contingency analysis so if you are preparing the file uh, for that particular case where you want to first perform dc analysis and then ac analysis you can select this so it is always good to create a file which can be used at the same time for dc and the ac analysis otherwise you have these two options available of ac analysis only so this is totally up to you so i am selecting this option and then now i uh, i have to give the name of the distribution factor file as well browse again i triple e 9 and if you observe here this time the extension is static.dfx so this time i will be selecting the dfx file so once i have done this so next step is going to be click on save so my file name is uh, file name is here along with my uh, the whole list uh, or, or my whole path of my file and once i press okay you'll see uh, something happened within my progress window so what basically progress window has done is progress window has started to check uh, the contingencies okay which contingencies i can perform and which contingencies will not i will not be able to perform so based on this it processed the data and it told me that this contingency uh, single one so it has given the uh, name uh, 1-4t1 has eight buses not connected back to the swing bus so basically what it is talking about is it is talking about this transformer if you see here if i double click on this this generator is basically my swing bus so this bus number 1 is my swing bus so if i switch off this element what is going to happen my entire system from here all the way to here all my eight buses they are going to go in the island mode because in psac whatever is connected to the swing bus is the original system anything beyond swing bus is an island system so that is why i am getting this error similarly uh, 227 again see 227 here in 227 case what psc is trying to tell me is that once you perform this contingency what is going to happen one of your bus or one of your generator is going to be isolated from the main system yeah this is going to be happening i know about this fine uh, so same goes for this one so this is exactly what is happening so if you have some islands being created in your system if there is some kind of a problem uh, which psc sees while processing these contingencies it is going to tell you here you can see from here so once you are done with this the next step is to perform the contingency analysis